Today we're taking a look at the Megumi Kato 1 7th scale figure by Aniplex Plus made in cooperation with who the hell knows, some unknown third party, doesn't indicate it anywhere on the box. I don't even like Seikano that much, but I like the other two Good Smile Company figures, so I've been anticipating this for a while because I want a full set of all three. Because this was an Aniplex Plus figure, I had to go to alternative sources, so I got this from Tokyo Otaku Mode. I've never ordered from them before, usually because their prices aren't that good, but on Aniplex Plus figures, they usually have pretty- they usually have the best price, so this was by far the cheapest way to get the figure, and free shipping as well. I think it was like $89 or something like that by the end of it. I have to give them credit where credit's due, they did a really good job packing this thing. It came inside of a- obviously it was shipped in a box, and then inside of that box was this box, where it's a box covered with bubble wrap. Then you take the bubble wrap off, and then inside that box is yet more packing stuff. They got these two little foam pieces, and then two cardboard things on the top and bottom, and then you take that out, and you're still not done. You've got that nice tissue paper that the American distributors love to put on figures when you- if you ever order, like, domestically. They love putting this like tissue paper wrap on the figures. I love it and I always feel terrible ripping it off but it's gotta go. It comes with this weird ass paper on the bottom of it that's got like Google Play links and App Store links and then a link to the website and some shit about redeeming a code and then there's actually like a code at the bottom like an Xbox Live DLC code and I went to the web I went to this website to see what the fuck this could possibly be it's just this really like skeletal website and you put in the code and you see this, it's like a 3D model of the figure. I, I don't know what the point of this is. This has got to be the weirdest thing I've ever seen come with a figure. I've never seen anything quite like this before. As you get into the box, you see the only accessories that come with this thing. You get an alternative facial expression and the base. Now the base, what the fuck is this shit? It looks like, this base looks like a Chinese bootleg base. It does not look like the real base to a real scale figure. And then let's just compare this base. So you got these other two Good Smile Company figures. And this is where like a lot of conjecture comes in. This is a really weird situation that they've put us in. So you've got two Good Smile Company figures. They did Utaha and they did Eriri, who are the other two main characters from this series. They did those figures and then there was no Megumi in the, ser in the in the set. And then they announced this Megumi, Aniplex Plus, and I thought, well, maybe it's like, it's just the, it's finishing the set made by Good Smile Company, and then Aniplex Plus is just handling like the distribution on the thing. Not the case. It does not indicate anywhere on the box who actually made this figure. Because I have another Aniplex Plus figure, it's the Baf Shinobu, and it says that she's made like by Stronger on the box, because Aniplex Plus themselves doesn't make figures. And then to make matters worse, Good Smile Company comes out, they've got, they do have a Megumi Kato, they're making 1 7th scale as well, but it doesn't seem to fit the theme, because she's not wearing, like, the school clothes like this, so this one seems to match better despite not technically being part of the set, so I was left in the situation of, well, I guess I'll just get this one, because it's coming out sooner, and it matches the set much better. And it does, except for that shitty fucking base. You see, the other two have those, like, furry bases that um they're like the brown ring around them and then the, the white fur and and this base doesn't even come fucking close to matching so my solution to this was going to be taking my max factory azusa nakano's base who she has a base that's identical to the seikano bases where it's like the white fur as you can see i thought that i could put megumi on this one and then take that azusa figure and like put her on I don't know, whatever, I could put her on like a dollhouse rug or some, some something crazy like that, because she doesn't match her set anyway in terms of the base. 
but when I put Megumi onto this one, I quickly realized like this base is fucking huge. Megumi's like much smaller than I anticipated, so that didn't work out at all. Then as I was taking photos of my figures, I kind of have like a really shitty camera and it can't handle focusing on things if they're more than a centimeter uh, in difference in depth. So I got out my acrylic risers, which everyone should have. They make your display look a lot better. Did this just for the picture. And then by the time I was done taking the pictures, I realized like, wow, this is actually, this might be a legitimately better way to display them. So that's how I'm actually displaying them right now. So now we're just gonna take a closer look at the figure itself. Whoa, 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 wait a second. What the fuck is that? So I actually didn't notice this until after I was done filming all the footage for this video because I was just, I'm so absorbed with the camera and getting the lighting right and all that. But my figure has the defect on it that a few people have been complaining about on my figure collection where the bangs on her hair, there's like a paint, I don't know if it's like a chip or like the paint's rubbed off or a defect of some sort. It's got that, mine has that unfortunately. Now the good news about this is that that little piece of hair, it's its own separate piece, so it's, you don't have to replace the whole figure, it's just one very, very small piece, so it's gonna be easy. So setting aside my little hair piece defect, this figure is actually quite good. It's to the quality standards of the other two figures, it matches them perfectly uh, in, terms of, in terms of quality and matching the set. It's, fantastic they you wouldn't know that one of them wasn't made by good smile company so whoever handled actually making this figure for any plex plus did a fantastic job if you have the airy and the utaha already and you have like maybe you're waiting for the good smile company megumi i think this one is like much better now knowing that it's a high quality figure because that was the gamble here like this could come and be a you know low quality figure other than that one defect which will probably be resolved and they'll just send me like the little bang piece 